Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have your patch notes for the 6.5 update, Dragon's Path. We have made an update to the dungeon to make it feel more like players are exploring a dungeon and adding new ways for players to interact with it. The dungeon menu has had an update to have two tabs in the menu. One for the main dungeon, and one for the new dungeon shop. See below. Dungeons now have a level that affects the difficulty of the dungeon. The dungeon's level can never go below 1, and can never be higher than 20. Dungeon level will also affect the rewards that can be earned in the dungeon, so completing dungeons on harder difficulties will give more rewards. Players will have six dungeon doors to pick from. Behind each door is either a battle, trap, or boon room. Each dungeon will have three battle rooms, two traps, and one boon room. Battles are the same battles that players encountered before, with the exception of the final boss for the dungeon. We have added seven new dungeon bosses for players to encounter, one for each day. These new dungeon bosses are gem, dragon, mythic bosses, each themed to their dungeon. Players can now fight dungeon battles in any order once they encounter them in the dungeon. For example, if the player finds the battle against the gem dragon, they can fight that before they do any other battles. Traps will apply debuffs to the player in any future battles in the dungeon for that day. Trap effects are reset daily, so traps will not affect the following day. If players manage to defeat all three battles without encountering a trap, they will earn a perfect run, which will earn them Dragonite, a new resource that can be used in the Soul Forge. Boon rooms are one of three types of rooms. Altar, Treasure, or Stairs. Altars are the reverse of traps, and will grant a buff to allied troops in all future battles for that day. Like traps, altars will only apply for that day and are lost when daily reset occurs. Treasures will give bonus jewels for that day's dungeon. Example, a treasure room in the Dungeon of Fire will give rubies. Stairs can either go up or down. Stairs that go up will lower the dungeon's level, while stairs that go down will increase the dungeon's level. Players can choose whether they wish to use the stairs to change their dungeon level or if they want to stay on the same dungeon level. If the player uses the stairs, the new dungeon level will apply any unfought battles and Treasures that have not yet been encountered will apply to any unfought battles and treasures that have not yet been encountered. Alright, Dungeon Shop Update. We have updated the Dungeon Shop, making it easier for players to view and find the offers. Gym bounties no longer require players to defeat a dungeon boss to, in order for it to be available for purchase. We have added three new offers for players to spend gems on to get resources for the Soul Forge, including Cursed Runes and Dragon Knight. New Soul Forge Recipes We have added new Soul Forge recipes that use Dragon Knight to be crafted. One of these recipes is the Gem Dragon Egg. This recipe will craft either Saphirax, Emeraldron, Rubarath, Tapasarth, Amelthelos, or Garnetirilin. <laughs> Those are all like jewel-themed dragons. Two legendary weapon re recipes require these troops in order to craft them. One mythic weapon that needs both legendary weapons to craft. And crafting all the mythic weapon will allow players to craft the final gem dragon, Diamantina. Uh, Kingdom Daily Deal Improvements. We have made some improvements to the Kingdom Daily so that it will try to give players more offers better targeted for the Kingdom Power level tasks. We will continue to make further improvements in the future. We have also added some new offers to help fill in gaps that were not being offered previously. Some of these include Forge Scroll Offer, Epic Metal Offer. This is similar to the Epic Metal Offer that VIP players have been able to get, but the price is different. Legendary Metal Offer. Similar, same thing. Mythic Metal Offer. These changes will be released over the next week. New Achievements. We have two new achievements for this update. Practice Makes Perfect. Get a perfect run in a dungeon. Diamonds are forever. Craft a gem, dragon, egg, in the Soul Forge. Uh, in general here, weapons can now be sorted by tempering rather than level in the Weapon Filter menu. Bug Fixes. We have fixed several visual issues related to the new conversation layouts. 
We have fixed an issue where, after completing several battles in Legends Reborn, there could be a soft lock in another game mode. We have fixed an issue where having Ironhawk with the third trait unlocked on a team when the opponent's troops were stealthy or submerged cause a soft lock when you cast a spell. We have fixed a visual issue where guild bonuses sometimes appear deactivated in the guild menu on a statue even though the bonus was active. We have fixed an issue where the game crashed or soft locked when finishing the Broken Spire questline and then navigating to Adventure Path Adventure. We have fixed an issue on PlayStation where players could get stuck in the Luther autoplay tutorial. We have fixed an issue where if a player had an old account but hadn't met the requirements to finish the Adventure Path, the Adventure Path button didn't display on the world map. We have fixed an issue on PlayStation where purchasing any Legends Reborn reward tier twice caused the PlayStation Store icon to appear on every game screen. We have fixed an issue where selecting the same reward tier twice in the Legends Reborn event causes a cliffy error. We have fixed an issue where souls rewarded from Gnome and Battlecrasher loot, Adventure Board, and Delve Room souls were not being added to the Shrine of Treachery. We have fixed an issue where the next faction assault was shown as starting in percent instead of the correct amount of time if you had the game's menu open when the correct faction assault ended. Current faction assault ended. We have fixed an issue when playing with a controller where you can select cast on a troop spell then before selecting an enemy to target turn on autoplay causing a soft lock. We have fixed an issue in the weapons filter where weapons could be sorted by amount despite only being able to own one of each weapon. We have fixed an assortment of smaller issues. Please note that this update will be available on Steam, iOS, Android, Xbox, and PlayStation. There's currently a delay on the re release of the update on Amazon. We will keep players updated while we learn more. Switch will be receiving the update in a future date. So that sounds pretty cool, y'all. Dungeon update. Um, new uh, material called Dragonite. A bunch of new dragons to craft. Some weapons. A mythic weapon. Uh, we'll check it out tomorrow on live stream. 10 a.m. EST. Be there. Maybe 9.30 a.m. EST. So yeah, live stream. We'll check all this out. But yeah, that's your patch notes for the 6.5 update. Really appreciate y'all watching. Like, share, subscribe. Consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your good about the channel. Comment below. And I will see y'all next time. Peace.